Usually when the winter time is here, that means that Major League Baseball is going to have a ton of moves. Now, the Oakland A's are certainly winning with Moneyball, as we all like to say with Billy Bean. But this is not about the Oakland A's. It is not about some of the other teams. It is rather about two teams involved, the World Series champions this past season with the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Now, what exactly went down? Jacoby Ellsbury, according to Major League Baseball sources that told ESPN.com, is going to sign from Boston and go to the New York Yankees. Seven years, $153 million. $153 million. And it could even go up as much. It's a seven-year contract, getting paid about $21.5 million a year. He is going to be the third highest paid outfielder ever in the game. But I, I, I'm going to give you some, some more specifics in just a moment. But now they are thinking about going after Shin Su Chu, and that would basically put the outfield for the New York Yankees at Chu, Ellsbury in center, I'm going from left to right, and uh, uh, Gardner, or they could, Gardner and Chu could switch. Now, he's going to be paid $21.5 million annually. His agent is Scott Boris, so to no surprise, he is getting paid this much. Now, Ellsbury, the big criticism on him is that he has not put in enough of a fantastic body of work to be paid this much. Let me ask you a question. Who deserves to be paid this much, maybe aside from LeBron James in the NBA? Ellsbury is a good player. He's a fantastic player. But according to Boston.com via Baseball Reference, here are the players that he is most similar to. So from Boston.com, just to name a few, Shane Mack, Angel Pagan, Johnny Moore, George Watkins, and Danny Taylor. That's just a few of the top ten. Now, Ellsbury last year, 298 is what he had. He had an OPS of 781, 52 stolen bases that led the American League. Is he going to produce those sorts of numbers every single year? The 298, I could see the OPS, sure. He is not going to put up 52 stolen bases every single year. The way that I think about this, and I was talking to Jesus Godoy, who was a humongous baseball fan and a great Dodger fan, is that, man, he's not great, he's a good Dodger fan, is that basically... Ellsbury is going to be 37 years old when this contract is up. It is going to be like Carl Cropper to the Boston Red Sox. They are expecting, they have too high of expectations for a guy that's getting paid this much. No matter what, the territory that comes with these kinds of deals is that the expectation is going to be way too high. What are they expecting exactly? Lead the American League in stolen bases, be a suitable leadoff man, hit over 300 every single year. That's something he's not going to do. The other criticism for Jacoby Ellsbury, and then I want to get into your tweets in just a moment, is that he has been injury riddled what seems like almost every single year. Now, that's certainly not the case, but the injury list is a long one. It's a laundry list for Jacoby Ellsbury. Now, for the Yankees via Boston.com, for a team with gobs of cash wrapped up in Alex Rodriguez if he plays, Derek Jeter, Brian McCann, who they signed away from the Braves in free agency, Mark Teixeira and CeCe Sabathia, and a farm system that just awarded the Red Sox a number one draft pick by signing Ellsbury, the Yankees are the antithesis of what the Red Sox are managing to do with their payroll. After clearly losing their way, with boneheaded splashes in recent years who just won the World Series again? It wasn't the Dodgers, and it certainly wasn't the Yankees. Now, I wanted to get into your tweets. Here is what great Dodger fan Jesus Godoy had to say. It usually goes down this way, right? Damon to the Yanks, Clemens, etc. Yeah, Wade Boggs, to name another one. Babe Ruth could even be another one. But it's not that it happens all the time. It's that we make a big deal out of it because they're going from one rival to another, the most hated rivalry in all of baseball. There are a few more tweets that I want to get to. Jesse Howard says, Jacoby, why you do this? Because he wants to get paid, obviously. Suhal Kureshi, oh, that's a good one. Tweet to Abbott great move. Yankees got stronger, Boston got weaker. No, Boston didn't get weaker. Out of anything, what baseball reference is telling us is that he's like a Coco Chris. He's like a what were the Shane Mack and an Angel Pagan, maybe just a little better. So I don't even think the Red Sox got weaker. Yeah, they got weaker, but they also... What the playoffs have shown us every year is that a guy can have a great postseason and then turn that into a wad of cash via free agency. Is Jacoby Ellsbury worth that kind of money? No, I honestly don't believe so. Did the Yankees overpay? Yes, they overpaid. And Scott Boris is doing a damn good job. Papilis says, we won't know if Sox fans feel backstabbed until he goes to Boston for the first time. No, we already know. He's getting death threats. And I believe that's it. That is a true story, by the way, that he is getting death threats. I'll throw the link in the description below. So, is Jacoby Ellsbury, Ellsbury, is Jacoby Ellsbury worth the money, or is he not? Leave a thought in the comments section below. Did the Yankees overreach? Leave a thought in the comments section below. What you think about all this? 
Leave a thought in the comment section below and also do me a favor. Give this clip a thumbs up and subscribe to TYD Sports.